I'm going to be looking at the discs that you guys recommended in my top 5 most unusual PDJ. What the f did I call this video? Yo, what is up you guys? So today I'm going to be looking at the discs that you guys recommended in the comments of my top 5 most unusual disc golf discs. And you guys left a lot of comments. It's definitely my video with the most comments I have. So I figure I might as well check out all the discs you guys told me to look at. Starting at the bottom, he didn't say look at the Quest Odyssey, but I'm pretty sure someone did. So I'm going to go ahead and look at the Quest Odyssey right now. Odyssey. Alright. Uh, okay, this... This looks kind of crazy. Um, Quest Odyssey. Underside. Can we see the underside of the disc? That's not. That's not the Odyssey. Okay. Well, the Odyssey kind of reminds me of like a nuke in a way. Um, I don't know what it's like. This guy says it's understable or whatever. So, I, I bet it's a really weird disc to throw. But honestly, it reminds me of like a nuke, but looking at it, I feel like it's going to be like really light or something like that. I don't know, I got this weird vibe from it. Alright, next we're going to look at the Castaplast discs. And I don't really know what that is, but apparently there's a disc called a Rask and one called a Berg. And so we're going to go check that out right now. I've never seen these, never heard of it. Berg. I don't honestly see what's so weird about it. Um, there must be, there's gotta be something with it. Uh, I'll look up Rask. This is the Rask. Oh, wait a minute. Is this, wow, okay, that is kind of weird. This driver looks really compact. It kind of looks like this, but a driver, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't know, that's kind of strange to me. But the Berg itself... Kind of like at first glance, it kind of reminds me of like a rhino in a way. I don't know if you guys know the Innova Rhino. I'm sure you do. Pretty famous disc. It kind of reminds me of a rhino in a way. All right, so I just went through the comments. I found this disc called a Typhoon. Never heard of that, and we're going to look it up. Is this it? Typhoon. First run Pro D Typhoon. Oh. This isn't too crazy. He said it floats on water. Is this a typhoon? Banshee, no. Alright, well this is what a typhoon looks like apparently. I don't think it really looks too crazy on the underside. I bet it looks like a stratus or something like that. I know there's a disc called the dragon which actually floats on water as well. But apparently this one also floats on the water. So that's pretty interesting. Alright, so disc golfer 169. You say the Whittler is the most weird disc you've ever seen. We're going to go check that out right now. Birdie. Well, I see. I assume they're talking about it right now. Um, disc golf review. There's literally nothing about this disc. That's so crazy. So apparently, disc golfer one six nine said you can't find anything online about it, and I guess he's kind of right. Let's. All right. So Anthony Perrier says that. The two discs we should add to the list are the Groove and the 10M Brick. And I've seen a 10M Brick in person, but I'm just going to pull it up right now for you guys. If you haven't seen it, it is a strange disc. Uh, I, that's not it. Okay, this is it. Uh, it doesn't feel very right. It's kind of shaped like the Sonic, which is a terrible disc. Maybe it's not the worst disc ever made, but it's terrible. It's one of the worst discs I've ever thrown, and it's shaped just like the Sonic. And there, there's kind of like a little weight or something in the middle of this disc. It's really strange. Now let's bring up the groove. Let's see what this one's all about. Innova groove. See, I don't really see what's I don't see what's wrong with it. Innova groove. So now I see why the Innova groove is pretty weird. So imagine you have this disc, and then they added like another. Uh, rim so there's like two rims underneath so i think that is pretty weird because no one no one is going to hold it like this i mean honestly maybe it's good for thumbers but 
I don't know why anyone would hold it like that. So that that is a pretty weird disc I should have added to my list. So this guy named Toxus I mentions a Nova Groove and uh, he also mentions two Latitude 64 discs I haven't heard of so we're going to look them up right now. So the first one is the Missilin and then the second is the Rakuten. So let's see Missilin. I just looked up Missilin. Um, I don't see what's wrong. It looks like a nice disc. Uh, I feel like the rim is pretty big but I don't see what's wrong with it. Maybe it doesn't throw the way he likes it. All right, well, I'm gonna say this This is a pretty normal disc. So let's look up uh, Rakuten. Rakuten. Oh, he spelled it really wrong. <laughs> it's Rakuten, not Rakuten. Okay. Uh, this is kind of the same thing. It looks like it might have some strange texture to it, but honestly, the discs with strange textures they're kind of pretty grippy i mean honestly i kind of like the star plastic grip like the really old star plastic but i mean these kind of discs look like they're pretty nice all right now travis jones says we should check out the Arobi arrow putter i've seen one of these in person so i'm gonna pull it up for you guys right now i haven't thrown it myself So I think it is really weird. It kind of reminds me of like a dog bowl. Also something really weird about this disc. You can kind of see it right now. There's like no room to grip it underneath. It's, imagine you had like this much, like there's not much room to grip it under here. But imagine you had less room like that. Imagine it was kind of like that. That's kind of how the arrow is. Like if you ever see it in person, there's like almost no room to grip, like put your fingers under the disc. I don't know. It's pretty strange to me. But he says it flies pretty well. That's pretty strange. Um... I might have to get one of these discs just to try it. It's one of the things I haven't tried. I need to try it. All right, so Eric Anderson is telling me to look up the DKD Miracle disc. I've never heard of this disc. I have actually seen a disc that I've been told is the most understable disc, and I don't remember the name or else I'd be looking it up right now. But when I look up DKD Miracle disc, I can't find anything, which is really depressing. But if I look up Miracle disc, uh, it just comes up with some courses. Um, and I go to images, it just shows more courses and stuff. I can't find an actual disc, so I'm really curious. Is this it? Uh, wait, DKG? Mm. I assume T DKG is a name of some competition or something, because the way they stamped it and stuff makes it seem like it's part of some like tournament or something like that. So if you guys know the name that he's trying to reference, please let me know in the comments below because I do want to know what this disc is. It kind of intrigues me because he says it's super understable and I kind of like that. So I kind of want to see what this disc is. All right, so Uncle Mercy says to check out the wheel. Now, I don't know what the wheel is. Sounds really strange. Wheel disc, disc golf, the wheel. Okay. Um... So, it's supposed to bounce or something? Is that what it's supposed to do? Really strange. Is this it? No, Defender. Alright, well I can't find the front side of a wheel, but I did find something pretty interesting. A 133 gram Raging Inferno by Quest <laughs> for $1. Let's go check it out. <laughs> oh, man. oh, man. If you guys haven't held a Raging Inferno, uh this part of the disc is like there's like air bubbles in it so it's like uh it looks like it was like burned like that's like the style they're going for i've never thrown in the discs on um, the original discs it says like warning this disc might go farther than you think or something like that it's so dumb but a 133 gram puke yellow uh i thought this was funny it's a dollar if you guys want to buy it go ahead all right now arthur haverkamp says we should check out the mojo from Chang. Well, he doesn't actually say that, but he did mention it, so. I'm pretty sure I've seen one of these in person before. Uh, okay, yeah, this is it. I've definitely held one of these. All right, so I don't know the difference between Mojo and Juju, but the weird thing about this disc is like there's thumb imprints on the top and they kind of push down to the bottom like a tiny bit. So if you've ever played for a really long time and have like a favorite putter, you might have a thumb imprint, but imagine having like a brand new disc that has thumb imprints. I think that would be kind of interesting, but 
at the same time it might be really annoying but there is like a blank spot at the top so if you have like some weird grip or something you don't have to use a thumb grip so i thought that was pretty interesting now peter toff says check out the innova bulldog and i've never heard of this disc so i just searched it up and all this stuff came up i've never seen this disc in my life but what's the weird thing about it dx bulldog Hydra. Uh, so I can only find a few pictures of it. This is it. Oh, our our pro bulldog. Wow, there's four pictures of the bulldog. No, you five. What am I talking about? Five. So I'm sure the bottom looks weird or something like that, but from the top it looks like a pretty normal disc. But thanks for mentioning this disc. I've never seen it before. All right, and the final disc we're going to check out is the 10 meter crossfire by Quest. I don't know if that's the one we just looked up, but well, we can't really find a good picture of it, but TMC Millen 45 says that the bubble that's on the wildfire kind of thing. So if you guys haven't seen the wildfire, it's right here. I mentioned it in my last video. You see how there's like a little bubble on the top. He says there's a bubble on the bottom. And that's for like really close putts or something like that. So I thought that was really weird. All right. That's all the comments related to discs that I didn't mention. Uh, I do read all the comments, guys. I really appreciate all the comments. It's really cool seeing all these comments. I didn't expect to get 75 comments on a video. Usually I get like three or four maybe. So this is really cool. Also, if you guys didn't check out my top five most unusual discs, go check that out right now. And thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.